Good afternoon, and welcome to this special conference concert that we have tonight. This is the first time in 11 years since Wedgwood has been in a concert here in our church. And uh, it doesn't seem like that long, but uh, we're glad that they're here and you're here. And so we just want to say to those who are viewing online, welcome, we're glad you're here too. And let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Our gracious God, we're so thankful for the gift of music. And we're thankful for these individuals who have shared of their time and talent to give us this inspiration. And so we pray that you will be with us. May we sit back and relax and enjoy the music and be inspired with your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please give a hearty welcome to the Wedgwood. teenagers. <laughs> no pressure, guys, no pressure. Just keep it, keep it relaxed.
Well, I want to welcome you here, and I, um, I trust that you've received a warm welcome somewhere along the way as you came in this evening. Uh, this is a warm, welcoming church, and if I didn't already belong to it, I think I'd want to join. Um, we want to thank Pastor Daryl and Carol Ann for the special invitation <laughs> to make this possible tonight, and... Um, we're just glad you're here. You know, I'm, I'm, everybody that, that talks about our music says how old they were, where they were when they first heard us. I'm, I'm curious. Turn to the person real quick next to you and tell them how old were you when you first heard the Wedgwood Trio? No, nobody's going to admit to it. Yeah? Now, my guess is that if you add about... 40 or 50 years to that number, that's how old you are. <laughs> Tap your feet, sing along when you feel like it. Living below in this old simple world Hardly a comfort can afford Striving Face temptation sore. Where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul.
here, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's written right there. I've done that about, I don't know, a hundred times at least. Oh, there it is. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, and help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. But through the storm. If you'd like to join us, if you'd like to join us, if you feel like we need some support, which <laughs> we probably will need increasingly as the evening progresses, uh, our plan is just to play and sing until we drop. <laughs> so, but having said that, we only have about six songs. That, that, that we can actually do now. This next song, and you probably know the words, it's, it's in the hymnal, beautiful hymn, 524, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. 
And listen carefully so you sing the right verses. Okay. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus Just to take him at his word Just to rest upon his promise Just to know Thus saith the Lord. Here we go. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him. Well, my wife told me somehow that there was a rumor abroad that this was our last concert. And uh, some of you just barely made it. Um, but come on in, have a seat. We're, we're glad you're here. It, it's kind of like Mark Twain's remark that the uh, rumors of his death were greatly ag exaggerated. And um, in, in, in actuality, I think this is our um, third, maybe even our fourth farewell concert. <laughs> and, uh, at, at, the same, at the same time, this could very well be our last. Um, I know Don keeps saying every time, well, one day it's going to be true. Um, but you know, the interesting thing about what we do is that it's the one thing that I do that when I'm singing and making music, I don't think of myself as any age at all. Yeah? Let me tell you. <laughs> and um, so we're happy to continue to, to do this. It's really our therapy, if we're honest. Um, but um, the, um, the interesting thing is that as I look out over the group, as Don mentioned, uh, we wonder where the next generation is. Um, anybody hearing Wedgwood for the first time? 
Thank you. Thank you for coming. Like I said, uh, you almost didn't make it <laughs> for that last concert. <laughs> I'm Jerry Hoyle. I, I live locally here. As I mentioned, uh, my home is in Redlands and um, got a lot of good, good family and friends who are up here on these first few rows. I, I, um, I was afraid they weren't going to leave very many rows there toward the back. I have, I have five kids, five grandkids, nine grandkids. How many? Right, nine. We're up to nine. <laughs> and, and still counting, probably. Um, and uh, just, just think this is a, a great place to come and worship and grow. And um, thank you again, Daryl and Carol Ann. For, for the invitation. This, is, this church has been a wonderful church to us over some 50 years. We, uh, we counted just before we went on stage that maybe this is our fifth concert here. Is that right? No, at least. At least we our fifth. We started with the Shall We Dance concert here. <laughs> How many of you were at that concert? That kind of turned you off, huh? So you, none of you. Shall we dance? Uh, well, listen, um, I'm a psychiatrist, I'm Bob, and I've been trying to straighten this group out for a long time, and it's just, it's been very difficult. They're creepers, they're all creepers, and so I, I'm always trying to keep things moving a little quicker, and it's just impossible. And it may have to do with the dose of their medications, I'm not sure. But listen, we, we really are, are very uh, happy to have this opportunity to, to visit your church and all of you, wherever you come from. It's, it's, it's a wonderful experience that we've had, this, this band, working together all these years. And we keep thinking we're done, and then somebody's foolish enough to ask us to do it again, you know? So we're, we're enjoying the foolishness of another concert. In fact, we have decided to call this the Imperfectionist Concert because we're imperfectionists now and don't expect perfectionism out of this band. Any of you have trouble accepting your imperfections? Nobody's going to raise their hand, but it's, it's better to accept them and work with them and, you know, instead of hiding it. Yeah. Listen, we... You could we, just, just introduce yourself, say, hello, my name is Jerry, I'm an imperfectionist. <laughs> That's the most honest statement any of us could make. My family's here tonight, and they put up with me, so I'd like to introduce, can all of you stand up and, stand up and turn around and say hello. Come on, Marlo, Nate, where are the rest of you? I can see that some of them came kind of late, so they're, you know, in the, in the corners, but anyway. Um, we, we have had a wonderful time doing uh, folk music, and we're gospel folk singers, so that means that we're folk singers singing about the gospel. And you'll notice that all of our music is really about the gospel. A lot of it's like ballad music, and so we hope that you will appreciate uh, this, this approach to uh, sharing the gospel tonight. You know, is Anita Olson here? I thought I saw her. Norskov Olson's wife, Anita, was p teaching piano when we were at Newbold. I thought I saw her. And I just wanted to acknowledge her because she was one of the first people that were encouraging to us as we were just getting started. Well, I'm Don Vollmer, and I'm still pastoring um, down in Orange County, even though we live here in Loma Linda Church Plant, Los Alamitos, that has been a wonderful experience for me. I'm just so thankful for a loving congregation that is growing, mostly new Christians and new Adventists. Um, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I was sort of at a low ebb. Um, I, I was uh, experiencing or imagining some cognitive, um, what do you call it? <laughs> in, anyway. And uh, when I tried to play I, I the guitar... I think that's a symptom, right? A symptom of you what? You forgot what to call it? 
Oh, uh, yeah. In, anyway, uh, well, I tried to play the guitar, and my fingers were just too stiff and didn't have the strength. Uh, my, my vocal control was, was gone. Uh, and I realized when I did try to play basketball that I no longer had a jump shot. Um, and uh, I, you know, I, I really felt this. And about that time, I had a dream. Uh, and it was actually a nightmare. And in, in this dream, the three of us were at Pacific Union College. We had been invited to go there, and I don't know why there, to do a concert. And as we were getting ready to go on, we suddenly looked at each other and realized, we haven't rehearsed for years. I mean, we've seen each other occasionally, but, and, and then I realized, you know, I forgot to do the song list. So what shall we do? We had been introduced and we're just standing there trying to figure things out, just in a fog. And um, everybody was getting restless, sort of like now getting restless, and, and my wife, you're probably wondering where I'm going with this. I, I know my wife is. But anyway, you know, the, the, uh, the congregation was restive, and you could hear the, the murmuring, and oh, it, was, it was just so uncomfortable. The next thing I knew in my dream, I had awakened from a sleep. I had fallen asleep on stage. And when I woke up and looked around, Bob and Jerry were gone. And I was, well, anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm telling you this. And I, I just wanted to, I thought maybe given my dream of a year ago, we should lower expectations <laughs> just a little bit. So be, be sympathetic with us and we're going to do our best, right? Do you feel better now? <laughs> you know, when I told You're supposed to do this in private in an office, you know, not in front of a crowd of people. Bob, I Bob think he and, wants attention for working on his problems. You, you know, Bob is a psychiatrist. Jerry's a clinical psychologist. I'm a pastor. You would think I would enjoy excellent mental health after all these years. <laughs> but it, it's not easy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen, I don't want to miss this chance um, to let my family and friends stand up here on the, uh, this section. Oh, in I here. forgot, too. Would, would, <laughs> if Sharon saved you a seat tonight, go ahead and stand up, all right? You. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, I don't have that many family here because. They're out changing the world, but, <laughs> but my mother-in-law, my dear mother-in-law is here. Would you stand, Mom? And my granddaughter, Anya, from Norway, and my, my, <laughs> and, uh, Anders. my grandson, Anders, oh, stand up, and, and I, I just, I, I, have to, I have to brag a little bit. He is a member of the Silver Boys, the boys' choir for the country of Norway, and has performed the king and queen. And then my, my precious wife of 53 years, Melinda. Would you stand? Anybody interested in more music? <laughs> this song that we're going to do now is called Requiem for a Little Boy. And it was the first song that uh, Jerry and I wrote together. The song was written, what, a long time ago, way before we can remember it. But we can remember the song, just not when we wrote it. How, how's this guitar doing? Is it? Sound good, does it? Too loud. Can we use the mic instead? Oh, is the mic on? Sounds terrible. Tap, tap that mic. Is what? It on? Check that mic. Is it on? Nope. It's off. 
The mic isn't on, that's part of it. We got to get away from the pickup because it's not working. Maybe I'm not working. You hear a guitar? Yeah. Some of you are imagining you hear a guitar, I think. You hear it? It's not very loud up here on the fallback speakers. So.
You know, what, what I wanted to say before I finished the last time was I am just so thankful to be here, to be with these guys once again and with Mark and Kana and Christina is going to be with us later in the concert. I'm just so thankful. And I, I've, I've learned something about how important it is to keep using what you have even if it means a lot of hours and hard work and dedication. Uh, we're all going to be a bit diminished as we get older. Um, but God is so good. And just enjoy every minute of, of every day. So, so in the summer of 67, we were privileged to travel with Del Delker and Voice of Prophecy Group B. We never made it into the group A, uh, <laughs> but we traveled with HMS Richards and Brad Nolan Braley and Del Delker, bless her heart. She, her name for us was the Sons and the Pioneer. And uh, she was the age of our mothers. Just, we loved her. Anyway, this is one of the songs that we did with her. This world is not my home. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through, the treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue, the angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can feel a home in this world.
stay here, stay here. Green trees are blending, Pusetta stands are trembling. The trumpet sound within a mile. Thank you. Jerry, this song is yours, isn't it? Dry Soul of Mine? Dry Soul of Mine. Dry Soul of Mine. I think it's in D, is that right? D. D? No, it's D. D. Huh? Dry Soul of Mine's in D, isn't it? That's right. D is in David. This is written during the drought. Can you hear this guitar? Over me with the 
singing in the 60s, um, you know, folk music, um, existential kinds of uh, songs, trying to find meaning, searching here, there, wherever. So we had a, we didn't know if anybody's writing music that really included a spiritual sort of answer to some of those searches. Bob wrote this next song. Uh, which we really enjoy singing. It seems like it's a favorite for a lot of folks who um, think about their life and the seasons of life and how that reflects in your own growth and the, uh, the meaning that can come through challenges, struggles, things that don't seem to have a, an answer, a rhyme, or a reason to them, but but faced with faith that there is purpose, that it all comes together in a good sort of way that made us who we are, made our parents who they were. Son, song called Summer Sun.
one 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 thing I like about getting older is that truths that are the most precious eternal become more and more real and I'm thinking about all that is implied in the phrase Christ and his righteousness and his righteousness especially towards sinners all of us are weak we're broken in some ways we're damaged and yet he loves us with an everlasting love Marjorie Lewis Lloyd in her book too slow getting off wrote that we can go past Christ and his righteousness a thousand times and yet not know it in our heart in our mind so that we truly rest in him and lay our burdens upon him and as I look back on my life I'm just so thankful that God has brought me past Christ and his righteousness at least a thousand and one time and has shown me in such a sweet way his goodness to me who has been so unbelieving and so stubborn and so willful and I marvel that he has ever been able to use me and so I thank him that he does use us even in our imperfections we're still learning lessons but our hope is in Christ. In this sad world, there is a land that is fairer than day. There's a land that is fair.
I, for, for the mix, I don't know if I'm using the mic or using my, my uh, direct box. Could you send us a message? <laughs> huh? I can't tell what, which pickup I'm getting. Banjo, simple truth. The simple faith in X song? Mm. Oh. We were talking the other day during rehearsal about um, just sort of how our progression of, uh, of faith, understanding uh, what, what God thinks of us, what he expects of us. And um, it was some years I, as I reflected back on it that somehow or other the the simple idea of what it sort of all came down to was that there wasn't anything i could do that would make god love me any more than he did already and there wasn't anything i could do that would make him love me any less than he did already in fact it wasn't anything about what i do it's more about what he did. And it's that kind of simplicity that I think has uh, grown me more than anything else in terms of being able to, uh, to live by faith. This is a Bob song called Simple Faith. Through the day 
This is a, another song that Jerry wrote. He, he wrote Dry Soul of Mine, and this one is about higher ground when they're floods. So Jerry's been kind of preoccupied with water and with higher ground, as the case may be right now. We don't need the higher ground, we need the water. But, but we need there's some, a wonderful... We need some. Some moral higher ground. That's what yes. we need. Something all, only a change of the heart can take care of. We can't make God love us any more than he does, but we can sure make him happy. <laughs> and we do that by seeking the high moral ground in Let's all of our relationships. Because love is the fulfilling of the law. That, that's not your good paper. Huh? That's, that's not the good paper. We, we tend, we, we've been getting ready for this since May, and we tend to start off fairly strong, and we deteriorate. The first time we got together, the first time we got together, I think it was in May, and we, be, we didn't know if we could do it, if we could pull it off. We did okay on the first verse of the first song. And as the summer went on, we kept adding verses and songs. And we should have quit yesterday, I think. <laughs> I just did the introduction. Oh, you. <laughs> trying, to, trying to save a little time here with, you know, all the talking going on. It's like this when we're rehearsing. We have to listen to these little sermons between songs. We get through about two songs in an hour and a half. But I'm a better person for it. When the storms of life are raging And the rivers on the rise When the bridges of escape Have crumbled in the raging tide I reach out my hand to Jesus Not knowing what I'll find And His angels lead me on to higher ground a thousand ways of which I do not know to cross the rage and the rivers on this journey here below though the low road may look easy and the high road may seem slow let his angels lead you on to higher ground higher ground such a better place than I had found. So let those storm clouds flow and the sea billows roll. And let, let his angels, angels lead you on to higher ground. Let his angels lead you on
You know, we want to introduce you to some other friends of ours who uh, you've noticed have made a fine contribution already. Um, been traveling with us actually for how long? <laughs> Forever. Um, anyway, Mark and Christina Bond, sorry, Mark and Connor oh. Bond, right? He's still with Wait a minute, with some start right. Over. Mark, Mark and Connor come to us from uh, Kalispell, Montana, and uh, they've traveled with us uh, over the country, and we just enjoy having them with us so much this week, and uh, we want you to give them appreciation. And over some years, even um, before that, we discovered uh, a very special fiddle player who lived right here in our own neighborhood. And um, we've asked Christina Thompson to uh, join us here for a, just a very special, beautiful number. We know you're going to enjoy this and give her uh, a nice welcome. Christina, Christina is a neighborhood girl by a product of, um, of um, La Sierra University's music program. But then she went for, to UC Davis and became a veterinarian. For fun, she takes care of your, your animals for you. Uh, that's, that's called keeping your day job while you're a musician, right? <laughs> Lovely song here called Ashokan Farewell.
Christina. Thank you, Christina. Christina. Perf and I want to thank you in advance. This is not the end. They still have at least five more numbers to do. But I want to thank you in advance for giving a generous offering this afternoon to help us cover with expenses. And just to put things in perspective for you, these first couple of rows a couple of weeks ago when Veritas was here were $50 a piece, so a seat. So uh, be generous tonight as you give an offering and we invite the deacons to come forward at this time. This next song is a medley, and it starts out with a, a song that was written out of an experience that uh, I had with my wife, Cheryl. She was being treated for breast cancer at UCLA and had gone through a stem cell transplant, I think, at the, well, maybe not at, yeah, she had at that point. And so they had in a, in a clinical trial to study a medication for platelet uh, promotion. And so we couldn't go during the week because I was working, and so we went in on a Sunday, and there's no one there but one nurse. And the nurse said, I'm, I'm moved to tell you that I'm a healer. And I just wonder if you would like uh, me to lay on hands. And so Cheryl and I thought that was a good idea. And we were there as she laid hands on. And there was a kind of energy that one felt with it. I can't explain that. I can't explain it. I can't say what it is or isn't. All I know is, is that it was a meaningful experience. 
And so this song that uh, starts out with uh, healing hands came from that experience. We wrote it on the way home uh, from the UCLA meeting. When Jesus was in town, people came from miles around to touch the robe of the man from Galilee. He'd made a blind man see, cured a case of leprosy by laying on healing hands. They'd see him one by one in hopes that something could be done to mitigate their pain and suffering. The great physician, he took away in poverty by laying on healing hands. Hold on, hold on to healing hands. Hold When Jesus' earthly work was done, his healing gift was passed along. There's some who follow him until this day. Through prayer and faith we believe, fear and sickness are relieved by Changing hands. Oh. 
It's about time for either the hot milk or popcorn and apples, which is one of our, our 29th fundamental belief <laughs> for, for Saturday nights. I shouldn't talk about food. Am I in the right key again? I'm in the wrong key. In the kingdoms in D, right? It's in D. Right. Are you playing in D? I'm playing in D. Yeah, okay. We don't play together often enough to know what key we're in half the time, okay? So, two, three, four. start over. It's a pretty good song and I'm blowing it here. <sighs> Two, three, four. There is no shame. sometimes has always been to ramble in, in times like this when Bob has to retune a guitar or change instruments. And it is something I've gotten a lot better at. 
lately. Just rambling, you know. Uh, not some necessarily meaning to, really. We, uh, we all grew up in... Are you ready? Almost. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, okay, we all grew up in the mountains of western North Carolina and northern Georgia. And uh, tent meetings, sawdust on the ground. I don't, where was I going with this anyway? This is, this is what we grew up with. And we sang this song out of Alan Lomax's Folk Songs of North America long before it was popularized, I think, by anyone else. So, oh, sinner man. Oh, sinner man, where you gonna run to? Oh, sinner man, where you gonna run to? Oh, sinner person, all inclusive, where you gonna run to? All on that day. Won't you hide me under the rocks? The rocks won't you hide me all that day? You can run to the sea, sea was a boil and run to the sea, sea was a boil and run to the sea, sea was a boil and all on that day. Yes, we can still do that song, barely. I, you notice I didn't pick the little thing in the middle. I, I worked on it for two months, and I just couldn't go fast enough to pull it off, so I apologize in case you were looking forward to that. What's next? Shell's Lullaby. Shell's Lullaby. This, I think this is one of the most Beautiful songs we do, it, written by Bob for his wife, Cheryl, uh, when she was in treatment for cancer. And um, he wrote out, clearly out of love for her, and was inspired, Cheryl's Lullaby. Now, Cheryl was, um, had the heart of a Viking, and she was the queen in our family and among all of the friends, and she uh, passed in uh, January of 2007. And so we, we wrote this song together when she was in stem cell transplant. Uh, they used to put you in isolation for about two weeks, so we had a little time to come up with another song.
Again, so much for coming out. We appreciate it so much, and uh, we'd like to invite you to, to join on this final song. I think we've probably finished every sacred concert with this one. It's a song of hope, of anticipation, that there is something beyond. And it is, shall we gather at the river and Christina, is going to join us. Christina played with us for from 2013 to 2017 at least. Yeah.
Mark Bond. Connor Bond. Thank you, guys. Last chance. Thank you. No screaming, no screaming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. One more. Well, uh, I can tell. thank you, thank you so much. That's um, that's gratifying, and um, we'd like to maybe just do one more that would end on a uh, an upbeat. And you can't do better than doing a banjo song. <laughs> so uh, join us again on on another one here. Uh, you went to summer camp, you learned this song. This is, a, this is a test. Hope you realize how hard it is on us to do this. <laughs> Everything takes work. And uh, we're still imperfectionists and uh, proud of it. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine what kind of night I would have tonight if I was a perfectionist. <laughs> uh, what was that? I'm not going to get together with any of you. Okay, so this, this is a song that nobody asked for. Huh? Seek for hope. Yeah. Up two or three? B flat, isn't it? Oop. Huh? That's, that's, that's my fault. No, it's B flat. B -flat. Yeah. I know, but I wrote B flat. Oh, no. Is it in B flat? No, it's, it's B flat. In... Huh? Yeah. Make sure you sing this song in B flat, all right? <laughs> it's E flat. No, it, yeah. it's B flat. Well, it says yeah. E flat yeah, on the thing down there. That's a typo. Who made that out? <laughs> Jerry did. Well, so where, where, I'm where's sorry. B flat? Yeah. Well. You know, it does comfort us that most of you can be sympathetic. You know, all, all three of us are hard of hearing. I've worn hearing aids for 20 years. Bob, Bob wears hearing aids, but he doesn't when we're rehearsing or working together. 
and you have to repeat everything. You don't have to worry about what you say behind his back because you know he won't hear it. But, and Jerry, we all, yeah. Our, our best hopes were riding on the fact that you probably haven't as good hearing either as you used to. <laughs> I think I need to see a psychiatrist, actually, as well. I need Again, to see no. Ready? Is that the right key? Yep, that's it. Here we go. I've got the joy, oh, really? joy, How can we joy, sing this joy, joy song in the down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Have a safe we, trip home. Good night.